who doesn't love going to an island paradise for vacation every now and then? I know I do, but sometimes not everything goes exactly to plan and things turn awry. That is especially going to be true from the movies on this top 10 list video. This list is going to be 10 enjoyable horror and thriller movies where the characters are stuck on an island and they need to find a way off if they want to survive until the end of their respected movies. I don't want to ruin who survives and who dies, so there will be no spoilers in this video, so you can watch without finding out who the final girl or final guy is, but let's be honest, usually it is pretty obvious in these mainstream horror movies. I will put the timestamps for every movie in the description below, that way you can skip to a certain one or skip over one that you have already seen. Along with the timestamps, will be the streaming services these movies are offered on if they are. With that all the way, here we go. Number 10. Uninhabited. 2010. When Harry and his fiance Beth decide to travel by boat to one of the 650 islands that is in the northeast coast of Australia, they are under the impression they will be camping alone on a deserted island for 10 days. No one else besides employees are supposed to be on the island and that is what they paid for. Whole thing is supposed to be theirs. However, they soon find footprints that aren't their own on the sand and things go missing from their campsite. And they think at first that there is, it is their boat guy that's playing a prank on them. But that wouldn't be the case for a horror movie, now would it? Trying to find help, the couple runs into a few workers that tell them the story about a woman named Coral that was assaulted on the island a few hundred years ago and that her ghost is still to haunt the island to this day. And they believe Coral could be haunting them. I don't know what Coral would want with Harry and Beth, but maybe she's just an angry presence and wants the island to herself. Check out the movie to find out what is truly happening on this island. Number 9. The Resort. 2021. This movie gets a lot of hate, and while I can admit it's not an Oscar-worthy film, it's fun for what it is and shouldn't be taken too seriously, like most horror movies these days. Not every horror film is meant to be blood and guts the whole runtime. As far as the story goes, researching her next novel, author Lex and her vibrant group of friends decide to visit a certain island to investigate the many stories, as well as the myth of the half-faced girl that also shrouds the area in mystery in a supposedly just an urban legend. Not too long ago, a young child was rumored to have been strangled there with her jump rope, sadly. The suspects were said to be tourists, but nobody was ever charged with her murder. After that, unexplained disappearances were a regular occurrence, and the hotel room's 306, in particular, was home to chilling visions and reports of a ghostly presence in the form of the half-faced girl trying to bring justice for her death. Now the resort is deserted, with just a handful of locals patrolling the area to keep the curious away. Lex and her friends will visit the resort, but by the end of the movie, she may wish she never brought anyone else along with her. Like I said, go in for entertainment, don't go expecting a brilliantly crafted tale that you will remember 20 years from now. Number 8. Sweetheart. 2019. Some people are calling this movie the modern day Castaway, and while I can see the resemblance between the films, that is just setting up the movie to fail by comparing the actress Kiersey Clements to Tom Hanks, who is one of the best actors of all time. But if you look at it with no comparisons, I think she did a great job capturing my attention and keeping me focused throughout the movie. I can't comprehend how hard that must be to have the whole movie be pretty much you and no one else. Well, our protagonist, Jen, who was very nicely portrayed by said Kiersey Clevens, manages to keep her wits about her, despite finding herself in dire straits. She washes ashore a tropical island with a badly injured friend, Ben. He dies fairly quickly into the movie, leaving Jen on her own. Jen finds some shark bits washing up upon shore, and she shortly discovers that some sort of creature preys upon the beach at night. Jen will spend the movie trying to figure out a way off of this deserted island and in one piece, unlike her friend she was with who became the creature's dinner when she wasn't paying attention. Number 7. Fantasy Island, 2020. This movie can get a bit confusing by the time that the big reveal is shown to us, but before that, the movie is interesting and keeps me engaged because I want to know what is truly happening on this island. A group of random people were invited to a mysterious island where they were guaranteed to live out one of their most wildest fantasies. The guests just think of it as a free vacation and aren't really expecting to have the fantasies come true because how would that even happen? 
Well, once they get to the island, they are, in fact, all guaranteed one fantasy, and that is it. But it can be anything they want, as the island has mysterious powers that can make them happen. Of course, in typical horror movie fashion, most of their fantasies end up getting twisted in a way that makes them more like nightmares, and when they ask to change them, they are not allowed to. Soon enough, they each will begin dying, one by one, until the big reveal where the movie tries its best at a wild, unpredictable twist, but it doesn't hit for me like I think they wanted it to. Movie is still a good time, and I don't hate it like most do, so I would recommend watching it as like a weeknight popcorn flick. Number 6. A Perfect Getaway, 2009. Speaking of plot twist, there is a decent one at the end of this one. This movie follows a couple that was just married, and they are visiting Hawaii for their honeymoon. Once they get started on one of the island hikes, they meet a few other couples along the way that are also heading to the same beach destination they are. While they are on their hike, the husband reads a news article on his phone that another couple was just murdered on the island over by another sadistic couple that is said to still be in Hawaii somewhere. The couple that we follow throughout the movie thinks that the couple they met might actually be the killers, but they don't want to run away and get murdered by them, obviously. There is a third couple that is also on the same trail, but they try staying, staying out of the way and don't really want to socialize like the other two couples. When everyone eventually makes their way to the beach on the other end of the island, the wild truth will be revealed and you will be thinking to yourself, how did you miss that? A nice little thriller with a nice twist, which... Who doesn't love movies like that? I know I do. Number five, I still know what she did last summer, 1998. Did you see the 1997 slasher, I know what she did last summer? Well, if you did it, let me run down that movie real quick. Basically, a group of friends accidentally killed a guy while drunk driving one night and tried covering it up, but the man they thought they killed didn't actually die and he came back a year later to get his revenge on the four friends. He was able to kill one of them, but three of them were able to survive the first film. Now, the main character, Julie James, is heading to a tropical island with a few of her friends that she won from a radio contest. But as soon as they get there, the evil hook hand killer is back and ready to finish Julie James once and for all. With no convenient way off the island, Julie will have to wait for her ex-boyfriend, Ray, to make his way to the island and save his boothing before she becomes gutted fish food. A nice little sequel to a classic slasher. And what could make it even better than Jennifer Love Hewitt stuck on an island while being chased by a deranged killer, one of the original 90s scream queens. Number 4. Club Dread. 2004. Club Dread is one of my favorite slashers of all time, and I can pretty much quote the movie from start to finish, which I don't think I am proud of, but it is what it is. Basically, the movie is about a tropical island resort that college kids and young adults go to for the week for like a spring break-like atmosphere and just all day and night consistent partying to be 21 again, huh? Well, after the boat has left for this week's charter, a killer gets loose on the island and starts targeting all of the employees of the resort and specifically is trying to make them pay for something they did. The party goers are all safe for the most part throughout the movie, but the employees will definitely get picked off one by one by Machete Phil, which is the nickname given to the killer in this one. What makes it even better is that the killer is one of their own, and if you haven't seen it, you should watch it and see if you can guess the killer who it is the first time you watch. I'll be honest, I was completely wrong, but on rewatches, I could see the small hints that were littered throughout the movie, foreshadowing who the killer was and all of the red herrings along the way. Number 3. The Menu, 2022. Ever thought about seeing Lord Voldemort as a chef that plans on sacrificing his whole kitchen staff one random night his business is open? This movie really is an unusual thriller movie that provides a breath of fresh air in this day and age where it feels like nothing is original anymore. Basically, the movie is about chef Julian Slowick, who has reached a point in his life that he feels no one really appreciates the art of his cooking anymore, and he is ready to let it go in a grand way. He invites a bunch of rich, pretentious people to the final act of his life where he is going to sacrifice him, his staff, and all of the guests on his restaurant island. What he wasn't expecting was that one of the guests he invited brought along a guest of his own and that he feels doesn't deserve to die, and he is torn on if he should let her leave the island or stay with everyone else and die. 
Well, Margot, the chick, isn't going to let him just end her life, and she will find a way off the island one way or another. Now, for the other guests who didn't agree to die, they are going to be in for the fight of their lives. Number 2. Harper's Island, 2009. Okay, this one isn't a movie, so to speak. It is a one-season series, but it is seriously one of the best island horrors ever created, so it had to have a spot somewhere on this list. If you haven't seen it or are fans of these kinds of movies, you really need to check out Harper's Island. The Harper's Island is an island where seven years ago, sociopath John Wakefield brutally murdered six women and was never seen again. Now, Henry comes back to the island where he spent his whole childhood with his fiancée to get married there. The guests include the family from both sides, their best friend, and especially one, a woman whose mother was one of the six women that were murdered. She's the main character of the show. Soon, people are starting to get brutally killed in various ways just like any other slasher, but on top of that, it is a murder mystery, and it's always fun trying to guess who the killer is in these types of shows. I don't want to give too much away, so I will leave it at that, and hopefully you can watch it at some point. I really recommend this one. Number 1. Old. 2021. People have a love-hate relationship with M. Night Shyamalan movies because some of them are some of the greatest thriller and mystery movies of all time. And then he makes other movies like The Happening that makes you wonder what happened with M. Night. Well, Old is one of those movies that is divided among people. Some like it and some dislike it. I don't mind it for what it is. A fun, campy, thrilling movie where you shouldn't think too hard about the premise and try to poke holes in the plot. There's always going to be plot holes with a movie like this. It's as it's, it's wild as it is. This movie is about a family that is invited to a tropical resort. And once they get there, they offer to go to a secluded private beach and spend the day there. But once they get there, they don't seem to know their way back, and oh yeah, they are aging like 5,000 times faster than they would in normal life. For every one hour they spend on the beach, their body ages 7 years, so you can see how fast your life would go by. A fun premise to a movie, and throughout the film, the characters must figure out a way to stop the aging, or else they are going to be toast in just a few hours, especially the adults. How do you think you would handle a severe situation? I'd be freaking the hell out if I'm being honest, but... That is it for this list, friends. Any other fun island throwers that you recommend for others to watch? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.